Hello friends, this video covers all the aspects of hydroponic leafy greens. I will be explaining about EC, temperature, planting process, light hours, preferred hydroponic system and harvest of leafy greens. So guys, in this video I will be discussing about lettuce, kale and argilla. So guys, do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more upcoming learning videos of other hydroponic plants. So starting with lettuce, it has many different benefits such as romaine lettuce is good for your skin and iceberg lettuce has vitamin C which boosts your immune system and at the same time you should avoid eating lettuce in large amount as it may cause digestive problems. So guys if you want to grow lettuce then loose leaf lettuce are the easiest and supercharged with growth and if you see the self life then the head of the lettuce iceberg lasts longer than any other lettuce. So we all know that lettuce is one of the popular and fastest growing crop in hydroponics and also it can be harvested one leaf at a time. So to maintain the growing conditions we need to check the EC or PPM levels for lettuce which should be at a range of 0 0.8 to 1.2 EC or 560 to 840 PPM and the pH of 5.5 to 6.5. Lettuce should be grown by germinating from seed which usually takes around a week and the temperature should be around 45 to 75 degree Fahrenheit whereas it requires 14 to 18 hours of light Usually indirect light is sufficient. Now the preferred hydroponic system for lettuce. You can use the DWC or NFT system. Whereas the DWC system is preferred for beginners. But if you have less space then the NFT system is preferred. Although friends lettuce can be harvested one leaf at a time. But it is preferred to be harvested fully from the head. As this process is faster and you will save a lot of time. Now looking at the lettuce growth period, it takes about 5 to 8 weeks to harvest depending on the variety of lettuce and guys oak leaf and butter lettuce are one of the fastest growing among other lettuce but you will have to see the market demand when growing lettuce. So after the lettuce is transplanted into the hydroponic system, it just takes about 3 to 5 weeks to grow and ready to be harvested. So now moving on to the next leafy green kale. Many people don't eat kale because of its taste but they don't know that the kale has 10 times more vitamin than spinach and more calcium than milk. Moreover it can be as profitable as lettuce because of its rising demand over its health benefits. So the most commonly grown hydroponic kale is curly kale and scots kale. When compared to other leafy greens kale is easier to grow and maintain as its wide easy range makes it easier for you to grow kale along with other crops. Also if you maintain the temperature just about 20 degree Fahrenheit, kale will taste much sweeter and maybe you guys should try it and let me know if it really does because I have just read about it. Next if you look at a few good restaurants, they have hailed kale as a superfood because of its health benefits and also kale is very less targeted by pest. But yeah, powderly mildew can affect kale and not only kale but also many other greens. Now the EC or PPM of kale should be in the range of 1.8 to 3 EC which is 1260 to 2100 PPM. It is a bit on a higher side and it has a wide range as I have said before. Also the pH of kale should be about 6 to 7.5 compared to other leafy greens. Just like lettuce, kale is preferred to be germinated from seed and requires temperature of around 45 to 85 degree Fahrenheit with an ideal temperature of 65 degree Fahrenheit. Whereas the light hours of kale is standard 14 to 18 hours which is of most of the leafy greens. So if you want to grow kale you can choose to grow in any hydroponic system but if you are looking to save your water bill and increase production then NFT system is best for growing kale as it saves a lot of water and is efficient. Now moving on to harvest. Well the harvest time changes on kale variety and growing conditions. Usually it takes around 4 to 6 weeks after kale is being transplanted into the hydroponic system. So overall it will take about 10 weeks for it to fully be ready and for harvest you can pluck about 30% of the leaves after 6 weeks. Next on the list is Argula. Well it has a perjury taste but similar to kale it is rich in vitamin A, C, K and calcium of which vitamin K helps in bone and clot formation. And if you are looking to cook argula then common argula seeds are preferred to grow over wild italian argula seeds as they are easier to cook. So now comparing the hydroponic argula with soil argula. When the crop is grown in hydroponic setup it is more delicate in flavor and texture than soil based argula. But it is rich in succulent and nutrition. 
and also it yields more consistent harvest. But guys, you need to make sure to have a constant check on humidity levels as high humidity may destroy Urgula. So along with the perjury taste of Urgula, its leaves also carries a spicy touch which you can use it for your salad, sandwich, pizza and scrambled eggs and call yourself healthy. This plant should have a EC of 0.8 to 1.8 and PPM of 560 to 1260 and a pH range of 6.0 to 6.5. Like most of the leafy greens, the best way of planting Urgula should be through germination of seed with a temperature of at least 75 degree Fahrenheit which is a bit on the higher side and 12 to 18 hours of light. So you can choose to put your setup on a bright sunny kitchen window. For the preferred hydroponic system, you can either use NFT system or DWC system, both being the most widely used system for this plant. If you got enough space, you can go with the DWC system over NFT system because a large stream of water is flown in the DWC. So rapid changes to the temperature, pH and EC levels is avoided, making it easier to maintain and reduces your risk level. Now looking at the harvest cycle, after the plant is transplanted into the hydroponic system, it takes about 4-5 to five weeks for the first harvest and then about 1-2 to two weeks for the second harvest. Overall about 7 weeks from the transplant you can harvest Urgula. So here's the end of part 1 of hydroponic leafy greens. So guys do subscribe to my youtube channel for more such videos and thank you for watching this video.